As a folklorist, I often think in three, so I have three comments before I begin. But because I don't ad adhere to the rule of three or any other rules, it'll be three comments plus a comment. <laughs> so the, the first comment is this. When I first came to BC to take up the chair, a senior colleague in the history department gave me some very good advice and said, he had listened to my job talk when I applied for the job, and said, Guy, make sure that the next time you give a talk that you write it out and read the script. That's very good advice. <laughs> the only problem is, is that I'm in Irish studies and I tend to adhere on these issues to Oscar Wilde, who an ideal husband famously said, the only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It's never of good use to oneself. <laughs> so we'll keep that aside. The other comment is from another senior colleague um, in our faculty who called me to task, quite rightly. Last year, when I came, and the first thing I did was an event which related to the late 20th century. And he said, Guy, you're steering out of your period as an historian. And that's part of what history does. We, we safeguard our periods. Um, maybe less than Richard Carney, a philosopher, can go anywhere in time and space. We, we're very policed. Um, so I will think about my time period today, or maybe not. Maybe I'm not steering out of my time period. Maybe it really is what Rowan said. Maybe it is the very, very long 19th century. I leave it for you. I leave it for you to judge. Third comment. I very much regret that Maureen Sullivan, my patron, is not here today because it would have been great fun. She's a great person. She couldn't come today, but she'll see the recording, I hope, and we'll see her soon enough next term. Um, really, her support is incredible. It's given us a lot of support in Irish studies. It's changed my career and transformed things, and that's incredible. And a way of paying tribute sometimes is doing it by tongue in cheek. That's how we do it in Irish studies. So if you Google the Sullivan chair, you might find my name. And you might find, get to Maureen that way. Or you might find that it's a piece of upholstery. There's a piece of furniture called a Sullivan chair. <laughs> That's the closest I could find to it. <laughs> and so I will deliver my lecture accordingly from a Sullivan chair. That was three. Number four is my tribute to the, to the genre, which I know very little about of science fiction. So you're going to have to excuse me for a minute. I think this is what they call in the jargon cosplay. Let's see in a minute. We'll go with this thing. 